What up, YouTubers? It's Mushroom, and here we go with the uh, official unboxing of the People's Choice Award. Uh, choice. And that is box number two from the Walmart selection. And that features the pink bone shaker, the black with the ugly and green interior Fal Ford Falcon XB. And the and I'm just gonna point out the new colorways that I know of. So these are gonna be this is a G case car. This I think is gonna be well this is a G case car too. This I think is gonna be an uh, H case car. Um, same with this one. But don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But you guys all wanted me to open this case. Um, and then obviously the most uh, sought after one, this exclusive decoration Malibu um, with the uh, blown engine. And the beautiful, beautiful paint job with red flames. So without further delay, let's get to cracking. Ladies and gentlemen, start your crack. Um, Poo Chef Morobi, if you are watching, check it out. I'm doing some crack. All right, and here we go. Let's see, what am I going to put my paws on first? Let's put our... Grubby little paws on the cards we do not like or that we're not so thrilled about. And that's first one up is the whoops is the Chevy Camaro. I'm gonna believe this is the uh, 2011 Camaro or no, I'm sorry, 2012 Camaro ZL1 in this really really bad. Um, no, I guess the tampos aren't okay. The tampos aren't so bad. What's bad is the red wheels. I, I cannot get over those things. I'm sorry. I tried, but it just, I can't do it. Um, but here it is the 2012 Camaro ZL1. Um, I love the casting. I don't like this, uh, the wheel colors, but here it is. And that's the first car, um, in the nine pack that you chose. Let's see. The next car is this unique, uh, Hot Wheels original creature car. And this is, um, gosh, I don't even know what this is. So, as you know, I'm not really a fan of uh, these cars, but here's, here it is. It looks like it's a panther of some sort. So, if you know what this is, please comment down below. Uh, let me know what it is. Um, it is actually kind of cool, though, because it does have some kind of, like, you know, decent uh, design on it. Um... I'm not so sure about the two-tone base and gold, but still very cool. And that's car number two. Car number three is the uh, Sweet 16. And this is a, a cool little, like, uh, kind of, it's kind of got, got, got that steampunk vibe to it. Uh, that retro Art Deco style to it. And it's a hot rod, right? Like a drag hot rod. Um, I wonder if I could actually shorten it up. Hmm. Like, you know, maybe put the wheels. Oh, no, I can't because there's the base. Maybe if I put the wheels over here, got rid of all this stuff right here. Made it a little shorter. Put the wheels like right there. That'd be kind of cool, huh? Who knows? One of the ones that go into the, uh, the, uh, project pile. Next one up is the BMW M3. Yes, we all love this car. We all love this casting. Um, if you go to thunted.blogspot.com, my buddy Douglas has a bunch of uh, pictures of customs that uh, various different readers did of this car and many, many, many others. He, his blog is one of the best resources for information about anything and everything diecast miniature. Um, you should go check it out for sure. Next one up is the new color variant for the uh, Cougar. Uh, 68 Cougar. And that thing is awesome. It's orange. Got this like burnt orange to it. Uh, beautiful color. Great tempos. And uh, Cougars are one of the awesome, awesome, awesome pony cars. This is the... Basically, this was Mercury's... Um, Introduction to the Mustang Camaro race, I guess. Uh, this is basically built off a chassis for a Mustang. 
from taken from a Mustang chassis and uh, it is one of the great cars of our time um, the headlights when you turn them on they would I believe they went down or I think it was down not up but I could be wrong if you were a uh, classic Mustang I mean a uh, Cougar owner please correct me or confirm all right the next one up, and I believe this is going to be in an H case coming up so the next one up is this unique Lee tempoed and blue colored Mustang and this is the uh, I don't know which Mustang it is but it is uh, it might be a new variant and if it is it's I think it's coming in the edge case and no taillights damn you uh, but here it is it looks very cool um, and uh, yeah there you go that's car number six so now let's go to car number seven, and that is the Ford Falcon XB. So, a few things I want to point out here. This is awesome. I mean, I actually do like the wheels with the light blue tinted lip, um, the green and blue tempos, and the black paint job. I like it. I really actually do. What I do not like is the ugly, ugly, ugly green insert in the front of the grille. Thankfully, that can be painted over and, and given the uh, blackout treatment. However, the interior is a lost cause because it's all green and it's bad. Uh, one thing also, and I don't know if most of you uh, owners of this Fal Ford Falcon XB have noticed this, but um, this is obviously not a car sold in America. I believe this is this was sold only in Australia. Either Australia or in England, because look at that, it's a it's a right side drive. Do you see the steering wheel right there? Um, that is uh, one of the unique things of this car. And another thing that we hate, or I hate for sure, and I know a lot of you guys can agree with me, is this horrible rear. And this car has an ugly green booty. And I got to tell you, Hot Wheels. Outside of the green insert that takes up the the rear treatment, the ta the grill and the interior being bright green. Outside of that, this thing's awesome. But with that, it's a fail. Sorry, just my opinion. If you don't agree, please feel free to comment and say, "Hey, you're totally wrong. I love that thing." Um, I will respect your opinion. Um, so please respect mine. Now, the next one, this is the car that everybody's been waiting for, uh, for a close-up, and that is the pink Bone Shaker. Um, this thing is awesome. There's that skull and, uh, that skull that we all, uh, know and love. Um, let's get some close-ups of the... Bone Shaker, thank you very much. It's got like this pirate tempo on there. Um, and this thing is awesome. Beautiful color, of course. You gotta like a Bone Shaker though. Me, I've always loved the Bone Shaker, so this car is one of my favorites of this pack. Um, and I'm also glad it came out. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, I have not got one, but I hope I can get the Super Treasure Hunt on this because I, this is one that I really would want to have. Um, so yeah, if anybody you got, any of you guys got extras that you don't really care about and you want to trade, please hit me up and let me know what I can trade for you. I don't really have a lot of super treasure hunts and I don't really have, um, um, that many, uh, regular treasure hunts, but, uh, who knows? Maybe there's something else I can trade you. Um, so cool. There it is. I love you. Uh, next up the bat, and this is the last of the nine pack, and it's the one that everybody's been thinking about, looking at, gawking at, like I have, and that is, dun dun dun, dun wrong theme song, dun 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 dun, there it is, we have the 64 Chevelle SS, and it is the Malibu trim package, and this thing is amazing. Um, look at that grill with the engine. Now, this is actually, for me, this actually looks spec, I mean, scaled correctly. 
because if this was a real car and that was a blown engine uh, sticking out of the hood I, I want to say it would actually look like this it's got great 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 tempos I mean beautiful job on the flames guys I mean really super super good on the job with the flames um, got the Malibu tempos on the back real quarter panels there's a uh, no oh man what is that is that a paint nick or is that I don't know what that is but there's some paint on the back that's not a tempo guys let me see there we go get rid of that stuff anyways here it is it's got a, a clean clean deep purple uh, metal very slight metallic um, and red and yellow flames so this thing is awesome Unfortunately, it does have a chromed interior. Um, however, it does have a black base. So that is something that Hot Wheels did right. If Hot Wheels were to give me black bases with chrome interiors, I could live with that because I would quickly change the color of the interiors. Um, very easily and very quickly. So please listen. If you're listening, Hot Wheel, give us, whoops, give us more cars like this. Black base chrome bumpers and we'll fix the chrome interiors anyways this is um, this is the nine pack review let me bring up some of the highlights and that's it so here you go thanks for walk watching this uh, quickie car nine car review give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw leave any questions and comments down below and uh, we'll see you at the next one guys thanks for watching